Let me show you how small amounts of money can help you get started saving your emergency fund. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. One is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving money for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I'm asking if you please consider subscribing to this channel. Click the thumbs up button. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think of this video. Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? And also let me know where you are from. I'm very curious to know. And would you also share this video because there may be someone that can use this content also. And click the bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. And I wanna say, Thank you for being here and welcome to everyone. And like I was saying, let me show you how small amounts of money can help you to start saving for your emergency fund if you don't have one. Now I'm beginning to realize a lot of people are not saving for emergencies for whatever reasons. It could be they're in a lot of credit card debt, they're living from paycheck to paycheck, robbing Peter to pay Paul, uh, low budget, low income, whatever. A lot of people are not, and I'm finding that. I was one of those people that was not saving for emergencies, but what started happening, the emergencies was coming when I didn't have any money. So I start seeing enough is enough. I need to start saving for emergencies. Then after I did that, I started creating I start thinking, well, I can maybe create videos to help other people. And since I've been creating these videos, I'm finding more and more people are not saving for mercy. And it's like, people don't even realize that that's something that's really important. You know, uh, emergencies, they come, they can't be avoided. And the first thing we think, where well, I'm gonna get this money, where I'm gonna get this money. And, you know, sometimes we'll go get things like title loans, payday loans. We don't want to have to do that. We don't have to, want to have to keep getting into debt. We want to stay out of debt, come out of debt, stop using credit cards. You know, we don't want to owe anybody. We want to be able to take care of these emergencies with our own money, okay? Now, and that can happen if we're using small amounts of money such as a $5, like $5 bills, okay? All right, and this say, this is a savings challenge, savings challenge number two, which I do on Tuesdays. So I do seven all together, and what you can do is just find one that will be suitable for you. I have one work with $1 bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, rolls of quarters, and even change. I do one every day. So, and I have various containers that I put them in. Like this one is a container, and this one is cash stuffing. I have here 60 envelopes, and once they're all stuffed, it will equal up to $300. Now, you don't have to stop there. You can get more than that. That's just something I did. And then once I get the $300, I'm going to keep on adding to it until I get to $1,000 of my emergency fund. We should have at least $1,000 emergency, but we don't want to stop there because that can only cover emergency up to $1,000. You know, what if you have emergencies over $1,000? You know, like a home repair, a car repair, job loss, medical bills. You may need more than that, but a thousand dollars can help you know like my car i had to get it repaired and it was um i think around seven hundred dollars so a thousand dollars did cover that you know you may have one four hundred dollars three hundred dollars but what i start seeing a lot of people can't even cover a one hundred dollar emergency so and that and 
this is uh, people that have good paying jobs. Okay, so sometimes we don't even have a mind to say, well, we're going to change that. We're going to have a mind to say, okay. So I have her, like I said, all together, 60 envelopes. And another thing, if you feel like, oh, I don't have enough money, you know, when I get paid, it's already gone. What we need to do is increase our income. Find a way to increase our income. Get a side hustle. Find a way to make some extra money. There are lots and lots of ways to make extra money. There's ways to make money online. There's ways to make money on, on your phone. Go on YouTube and put in the search. Side hustle. And oh, videos will come up. Go online and put in side hustles. Something I can do from home. Working from home. Or, I mean, there's a list of things that we could do to help give us an extra income to help us to start saving for emergencies. And also, we, you know, we want to save for emergencies. And we also want to build wealth also. And that's another thing we can take money and invest in the stock market to help build wealth. And one reason why I feel like it's important to save emergency because if you're saving money for one thing and then an emergency come, you're gonna end up using that money. So that's why I feel like it's good to start saving money for emergencies. And then also, the money that I'm doing on these savings challenges, this is money that, you know, I keep in my home and I feel like I call this money, I have it a new name for it. It's called right now money. That way if I have an emergency right now, I have access to it. Now, yes, we should save money and keep money in the bank and we want to put it in a high yield savings account. But I just, um, like I said, I'm doing these videos and I call this right now money because if there's a mercy, I have access to it. You know, what if the bank is closed when I have a mercy? What if the bank shuts down? Bank closed down, the, our money is insured, but I don't think you're gonna get that money right away. You might need it right away. I'm sure it's a process. They probably gotta see how much you, you had and you know it's i'm sure it's a process i don't know but i'm sure it's a process so anyway uh but if we keep money in our home make sure we keep it in a secure location which is waterproof fireproof and death proof okay all right so today I'm going to show you, like I said, I have all together here 60 envelopes. This was a little container I found at Dollar Tree, and this is not a sponsored video. And these envelopes came from Dollar Tree also, and I've been stuffing them with $5 bills. Okay, now let me show you how much I've saved so far. Uh, let me pull this one up just to show you. That's one $5 bill right like there. So, this is... Oh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Now, we're going to add this one to here, which makes a total of $95. Wow! Almost $100. Wow! And I started this savings challenge in the beginning of January 2024. So I don't know if you all have seen those videos. I've been doing this every week. Every week I've been stuffing these envelopes. I have not missed not one week. 
And that means if I keep on doing it, I will eventually, all of these will be stuffed and it will be $300, okay? Then I'm gonna start over. Or I may just add some more to it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I'll see that once these are all stuffed. But this gives us a way to save with small amounts of money and that way we have no excuse. Sometimes we just need a mind to save. And then another thing we need to do is have good behavior with money, watch our spending, live on less than what we make. That helps also for us to be able to save. Um, you know, we can also not just watch our spending, but stay out of credit card debt, okay? If you have credit card debt and you can't seem to get it paid off, get a side hustle to help pay off those credit cards because the interest that you're paying on that means that you're paying more for whatever you pay for. And um, someone had said in the comments that, well, if you pay your bill by the statement date, you won't, you avoid interest. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I ain't gonna say it's not true, but I don't know. But if you don't use credit cards, you won't have a bill Uh, I'm trying to have less bills as possible. <laughs> you know, it's nice that all of my credit cards are paid off and the, my car loan is paid off. It's, oh my goodness. It is so nice. Trust me. <laughs> you want to get yourself to that point. And you can. You can. You know, just do whatever you can, okay? <laughs> so. Oh, I forgot. I have to, I, what I also do, I record this in my planner, letting me know what I did today. Today is Tuesday, May 21st. And this is cash stuffing envelope savings challenge. Okay, and I added $5 and the total is $95. Okay, wow. So I'm doing these videos to show you, you can save. You can put away. You can. You know, all you gotta do is just have a mind to do it. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next video. And happy savings.